Today I'm going to show you how to calculate your grade in class. The importance of being able to do this is to figure out whether or not you can get an A in the class or a B depending on how well you did on your homework or your midterm. Now this example is going to be fairly simple, nothing complicated. Uh, there's going to be three different elements here, homework, midterm, and final. Now let's just jump right into this. Let's say for instance that these are broken down into percentages, meaning your homework is worth 20% of your grade and midterms are worth 30% of your grade and the final is worth 50% of your grade. And this comes out to 100% or an A+. Now, the next step is to figure out how many points you're getting per each component. Let's assume that you've been doing really well so far and that you happen to get 90 out of 100 on your homework and that for your midterm so at this point you're going great I'm doing really well on my homework I think I'm gonna get an A in the class or an A minus and all of a sudden you get your midterm exam and you find out that you got 50 out of 80 on your midterm exam now at this point you're thinking well I only have a final left will I be able to get a good grade on the final to still get an A in the class and that's sort of the situation that you're in. So to figure this out, we're going to call the final an x variable. We don't know what that value is. The first thing we want to do is figure out how many percent, how much percentage did we get of 20%. So to do this, or to make it make sense at all, uh, we'll just say how many points did you get? We'll just say this is 20 points. This is 30 points, and this is 50 points, and 100 points gives you your A+. Plus. So I'm going to take the value, we're going to do a little bit of multiplication. We're going to take 90 over 100, multiply it by 20, and figure out how many points we got. Now this value, 90 over 100 times 20, is equal to 18. So we got 18 points out of a possible 20. And this, 50 out of 80, we're going to multiply it by 30 points and we're going to get 62 we're going to get 18.75 out of 30 so that's a little bit troublesome okay it's not a good thing and then for the final we'll assume I guess that's a multiplication. We're just going to get 50 points. The idea here is to figure out, well, if I got a perfect score on the final, what's the highest grade I can get? Now, whether you can get a perfect score on the final is a stretch in that sense, but you want to find out for sure. So now what you want to do is just add all these values here. So 18 plus 18.75 is going to be 36.75 plus the 50 come out to 86.75 over 100. Meaning, even if you got a perfect score on your final, you still can't get an A or A- minus in your class. The highest grade that you can actually get is a B. Now, even though you can't get an A technically in the class, you still need to talk to your professor, see what they can do, and sometimes your grades are curved depending on the type of class it is, and you can still definitely get a high grade. But in this case, if we if your teacher was going off the straight scale, you would unfortunately be unable to get an A. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and it can give you some guidance and ideas as to whether or not you can still get a particular grade in class. For instance, what if you got uh, 20 points out of this one? Well, we would just add 88.75. That's, that's taking you to the B plus range. So imagine if you got gotten 100% on your homework. So little things like that can be really beneficial in giving you a bit, a bit of guidance into whether or not you're doing well in the class. And that little change there could be the big difference from an A- minus to a B plus, and that could be very detrimental, especially in college. So I hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email.